All right, so get this. Today we are taking a deep dive into Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese? Yeah, Swiss cheese. It's calling itself the world's first decentralized stock exchange. Oh, okay. Stocks on the blockchain. I know, right? <laughs> Wild stuff. You think they know about all the cheese puns they're going to get? Oh, they have to. But for real, though? Are they serious? That's what we're here to find out. Yeah. Decentralized exchanges could be a game changer. So for anyone who isn't totally familiar, it basically means cutting out the middleman mm. instead of going through a big institution like the New York Stock Exchange. So with Swiss cheese, you're trading directly with other people, peer to peer, like uh, kind of like file sharing back in the day, but for stocks. Yeah, exactly. I like it. And they say you can trade all sorts of stuff, not just stocks, crypto, bonds, even global currencies. All in one place. All in one platform. And it's supposed to be accessible to anyone in the world, as long as they've got an internet connection. That's a big claim. Big, if true. No kidding. Let's see what we can figure out from these sources we've got. First off, it says Swiss cheese is built on the Polygon blockchain. Polygon? Okay. Mm -hmm. Known for being fast and having pretty low transaction fees. Which is a huge deal in the crypto world. You know, some of those other blockchains can be painfully slow. Yeah. And the fees, forget about it. <laughs> so... The fact that they chose Polygon makes me think they're serious about user experience. Yeah. If it takes forever to make a trade and costs a fortune in fees, nobody's going to use it, no matter how decentralized it is. Exactly. They're definitely talking up the advantages of the whole decentralized approach. Security is a big one. I bet, especially after that FTX mess, people are still freaked out about that. Totally. So Switch Cheese is saying, hey, with us, there's no single point of failure. Everything's recorded on a distributed ledger, so it's way harder to hack. Like a million locks on a vault, each held by a different person. Yeah, something like that. And they're also super big on transparency. All transactions are public and verifiable. Anyone can check them out. So no shady stuff going on behind closed doors. I like the sound of that. Me too. It's like having a spotlight shining on every single trade. Hard to hide anything that way. Plus, no geographical restrictions, they say. So, you know, people in countries with limited access to traditional markets could potentially... Yeah, that's huge. Potentially a total game changer for them. Okay, so then there's the SWCH token. The sources are calling it the backbone of the entire Swiss cheese ecosystem. Backbone, huh? Yeah. So it's not just about trading. You use SWCH for pretty much everything on the platform, paying fees, earning rewards, even voting on how the platform develops. Like fuel for the engine, I guess. Interesting. So owning SWCH gives you a real stake in the exchange, not just a stock that goes up or down. Yeah, it's a different kind of ownership. And apparently some people who bought SWCH early on, like way back in their initial coin offering. ICO. Yeah, the ICO. They're sitting on some pretty sweet returns. Sounds yeah. like it. But is it sustainable, though? I mean, what's the real value here? That's what I'm wondering. Is it all just hype? I mean, one of the sources mentioned these things called uh, OTC trading rebates for SWCH holders. Basically, you get cash back on big trades you make off the platform. Hmm. So they're trying to attract those high roller types, too. That's what it seems like. And yeah. they also get to vote on platform decisions. So it's not all about just pumping the price. Interesting. So they're building a community, not just a bunch of traders. Right. OK, but we can't forget about the risks. Hmm. I mean, new crypto projects. Yeah. Red flags everywhere. Is this thing legit? Right. Well, luckily, one of our sources went digging for us. They did? What'd they find? Pretty thorough, too. Checked out the audit details, institutional ratings, even combed through social media and transaction data looking for anything sus. They yeah. give it a 75% chance of being legit. 75%. Okay. <laughs> Higher than I expected. But that other 25%, though? Yikes. What do you make of that? It's a good starting point. But we got to remember, no analysis is perfect. True. Do your own research, people. And never invest more than you can afford to lose. Super important stuff. Couldn't agree more. Speaking of important stuff, you know how I'm always talking about side hustles. You do. Yeah. Well, I found this awesome affiliate marketing guide. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. Yeah. And it's free. It's on BrianGarvin.com. BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Seriously, it's packed with good stuff. It's like mm -hmm. over 12,300 words, all about how to build an online business. You just put in your name and email, click the link, and boom. Just like that, huh? Instant affiliate marketing wisdom. The link's in his YouTube bio. Anyway, it really got me thinking about doing your due diligence before jumping into anything new. Yeah, good point. Whether it's an investment or a new business venture, you really got to do your homework. Absolutely.
So let's get down to it. Tell me more about this Swiss cheese thing. What about their partners? Who are they working with? Oh, that's interesting. They've actually got some pretty big partnerships in the works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One that caught my eye is with Bitchit, the crypto exchange. Big exchange, that one. Lots of users. Yeah. So that could bring a ton of new people to the Swiss cheese platform. And a lot of new eyes on SWCH. For sure. And get this. They've also partnered with some major names in football. Football? Wow. Thinking big, huh? That's a global audience right there. Exactly. Smart move, I think. And it doesn't stop there. They've got plans for NFTs, play-to-earn games, a whole Forex DX, too. 4X DXD. That's ambitious. Right. A decentralized exchange just for trading foreign currencies. Like they're trying to decentralize the entire financial world. That's what it feels like. Even their own Swiss wallet and app is in the works. Really going for that one-stop shop for all things DeFi? That's the idea. I wonder if they're biting off more than they can chew. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, well, we've covered a lot. What Swiss cheese is, how it works, the potential benefits, and the risks, too. Good overview, I'd say. Yeah. But I feel like we've just scratched the surface. Definitely. Next, let's take a closer look at their roadmap and see if they can really pull all this off. Okay, so roadmap time. Let's see what they're actually planning to build. All right, beyond just the basic exchange, what's next for them? Well, one thing that really stood out to me is they're getting into NFTs, like play to earn games, where you can earn SWCH. Woo! So you're telling me I could be like slaying dragons and trading stocks all on the same platform? That's the idea. It's a pretty interesting combo, tapping into that whole metaverse thing, trying to get younger people interested, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. It's smart. NFTs are huge right now. Yeah. And it's not just NFTs either, right? Nope. They're also building a Forex DX. Forex. What, what, what was that again? A DX, but specifically for foreign exchange trading. Decentralized currency exchange, basically. Okay, so they're going after, like, the global currency market. That's a big swing. It is. If they can actually pull it off, it could be huge. I mean, think about it. Decentralizing the way currencies are traded, that's a major disruption. It's like they're on a mission to decentralize the entire financial system, one piece at a time. But is that too much? Can they really handle all these projects at once? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. It all comes down to execution, right? They've got the vision, but can they deliver? Yeah. And speaking of things we don't know much about, they mentioned this partnership with Swiss Global but the sources are pretty vague on what that actually is. Yeah, that one's a bit of a mystery. Could be another company, could be a new product, who knows? Hopefully they'll clear that up soon. Yeah. In the meantime, it looks like they're also working on their own Swiss wallet and app. Oh yeah, I saw that. Makes sense though, right? Kind of make it easy for people to use the platform. Especially people who are new to crypto. A dedicated wallet, a slick app, that could really streamline things. Definitely. Okay, but let's not get carried away here. We need to talk about the risks, mm -hmm. the red flags. This is crypto after all, right? Oh, yeah. Plenty of risks. First one, and this is always the case with crypto, it's volatile. Like, crazy volatile. Yeah, no kidding. Mm. I've seen some coins go up, like, 1,000% in a week <laughs> and then crash just as fast. Right. So even if Swiss cheese does everything perfectly, the price of SWCH could still go haywire. Because of like market sentiment or something. Exactly. Totally out of their control. And then there's the whole regulatory thing. Governments are still figuring out how to deal with all this DeFi stuff. So new laws could come along and just totally mess things up for them. That's the risk. We've seen it happen to other projects. No guarantees that Swiss cheese will be any different. Right. Okay. So volatility, regulation. Mm -hmm what else? What are the other things to watch out for? Well, competition is a big one. The decentralized exchange space is getting crowded. Lots of new players popping up all the time. So even if their platform is awesome, they still need to stand out. Mm -hmm. Convince people to use theirs over the others. Exactly. Marketing, community building, partnerships, all that stuff is crucial. Speaking of community building, you know what I've been thinking about? that affiliate marketing guide I was telling you about. The 10 steps one? It's by Brian Garvin. It's free on briangarvin.com. Okay. It really made me think about the importance of building a strong, loyal following and establishing yourself as an authority. Yeah, I get that. Like, if you want to launch a new product or build a successful business, you need people to trust you. Trust is everything, especially in the crypto world. There's so much noise, so many scams. You got to have credibility. Exactly. And that's something Swiss cheese will need to work on too, right? If they want to go mainstream, they need to earn people's trust. Absolutely. So what's the next step in our deep dive here? I think we should dig into their roadmap a bit more. Look for specific milestones. See if they're hitting their targets. Good plan. 
And we should definitely keep a close eye on those partnerships. Are they actually delivering anything or is it all just hype? Yeah. And the regulatory stuff, too. we got to stay on top of that. This whole DeFi space is changing so fast. No kidding. It's a wild ride. All right. So big picture. Swiss cheese. Bold vision. Ambitious roadmap. Trying to build a whole ecosystem around their SWCH token. Definitely making some moves to get the attention of both regular users and big time investors. And partnering with some big names. For sure. But there are risks. Volatility, regulation, competition. Too early to tell if they can pull this off. But definitely a project worth watching. Without a doubt. So we've covered the tech, the roadmap, the risks. But I want to get a feel for the human element. You know, what are people actually saying about Swiss cheese? Yeah, good point. Sentiment matters. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So one of the sources we looked at is this YouTuber. They do like crypto project reviews and stuff, and they seem pretty pumped about Swiss cheese, especially after seeing those early returns some people got. Yeah, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't be excited about those numbers? Right. But we got to remind everyone, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. It's crypto. Anything could happen. Totally. Don't get swept up in the hype, folks. Remember mm -hmm. that 75% legitimacy rating, there's still a chance this could go south. Always a chance. Okay. Okay, but let's zoom out for a second. What if Swiss cheese actually pulls this off? What if they really create a decentralized stock exchange that actually works? Could that change everything? Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? It's like we're on the verge of a whole new financial system. I know, right? It's kind of mind-blowing. Anyone, anywhere could trade stocks, bonds, currencies, whatever, without needing those traditional gatekeepers. The whole system could be flipped on its head. But could traditional exchanges really become obsolete? I mean, they've been around forever. They've got history on their side, that's for sure. And all that infrastructure. Plus, they're used to dealing with regulations. Yeah. True. But they've also got their problems, right? High fees, limited access sometimes. And let's not forget all those scandals. Yeah, point taken. So maybe Switch Cheese can offer something better, more efficient, more transparent, more open to everyone. It's like a whole new paradigm for finance. And if enough people believe in it, who knows what could happen? This is getting kind of deep. Yeah. We're talking about potentially changing the world here. We are. It's exciting and a little scary at the same time. It's a lot. I feel like I need to take a break and process all this. Yeah, me too. It's like our whole understanding of money is shifting right before our eyes. Okay, so before we totally lose ourselves in the existential dread of it all, remember that affiliate marketing guide I was talking about. The 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate by Brian Garvin. Yep, that's the one. It's free on briangarvin.com. Okay. Anyway, it talks about recognizing emerging trends and you know capitalizing on new opportunities, which yeah. is exactly what Swiss Cheese is trying to do. Makes you think, doesn't it? Being open to new ideas, being willing to adapt, that's how you stay ahead of the curve. Mm, so true. Okay, so as we wrap up our Swiss cheese deep dive, here's the bottom line. This project has huge potential, but there are some big risks too. It's pushing the limits of what's possible in finance, that's for sure. So watch closely, folks, but keep your heads on straight. Don't let the hype lead you astray. Couldn't have said it better myself. Do your research, understand the risks, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. Words to live by in the crypto world. And if you're looking for a way to maybe diversify your income or learn about the whole online business thing, check out that free guide on briangarvin.com. Could be a good place to start. All right, folks, that's it for our deep dive into Swiss cheese. It's been a wild ride. Thanks for joining us and keep exploring the world of decentralized finance. There's a lot happening out there. See you next time.